The dispute between Britain and Spain over long drawn out border checks in Gibraltar appears to be escalating. Downing Street now says it's considering legal action against Spain. For its part, Spain says its border checks are proportionate and believes it may raise the question of the territory sovereignty at the United Nations. Our world affairs correspondent Rajesh Merchandani reports. For many years, Gibraltar has cast a long shadow over the relationship between Spain and the UK. This summer, the latest dispute has seen six-hour queues for travellers trying to cross between Spain and Gibraltar. Long security checks, the Spanish say, are needed to stop smuggling. The UK thinks they're politically motivated and that this might be why. A few weeks ago, authorities in Gibraltar dropped concrete blocks into the sea to create an artificial reef. Spanish trawlermen protested, saying they couldn't access fishing grounds. And soon after, the border delays began. And the row has got worse. Last week, the Spanish foreign minister suggested his government might introduce entry and exit fees at the Gibraltar border. Today, Downing Street said it is considering legal action to stop the delays. So what are the options open to the British government? Well, Gibraltar is part of the EU. In 1973, along with the UK, it joined the European Economic Community. And EU citizens have the right to move freely between member states. But Gibraltar is outside the Schengen area, a group of European countries that have abolished passport controls at their common borders. That means Spain can implement traffic controls at its border with Gibraltar. The question is whether those controls are excessive and restrict the free movement of EU citizens. Clearly, the British government thinks Spain's border checks are excessive. But Spain says this isn't a choice, it's actually an obligation under EU law. And today, Spain said it would not back down. And sailing right into this row, Royal Navy vessels en route for Gibraltar today. Don't worry, they're taking part in a long-planned annual exercise. But what a time for British warships to be sailing into Spanish waters. Rajesh Merchandani, BBC News.